In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at the interactive freight quote process that you can run with the uh, PageDead API. So we're going to start, like before, going into the API samples area so you can use the online samples. And we'll start here with a quote object here that we're going to use through the API. And like in other demonstrations, there's the online code with a uh, sample request that we can send into the application. So all we really need to do for this is go ahead and run it, and it will send the quote to PageJet, and we get this redirect URL that we can use in our application to forward the user into PageJet to run the quote. So you can see here that the quote here is has the information that I sent in in the request. Again, it's got package detail and weight and so forth, which could be handled either coming from an application that already has that, or you can use auto packing or something like that. And then the user can just interactively run their freight quote and it will do the rate shopping, make the selection, make the recommendation, and they select it. And that's all the user needs to do. Now, from an application perspective, we have our identification of this quote number that we've processed. So there's several endpoint ways to find out that this update has occurred and record the quote details that you see here, the pricing and the selected carry and so forth, in the backend application that we're integrated to. So the easiest way to do that is to go to the confirms list area and here, notice we can make a request for any confirmations that are waiting of a new type, quote, confirms, and we can see our D00224 is here. So if we look back at the confirmation page, that was the quote that we just processed. So all we need to do here is go and use the endpoint for, quote, confirms to get that transaction ID in our application. So we'll just paste that in the online sample and run it, and you can see the detail of our quote here is returned. So our application can re retrieve that detail, the freight quote was done, what carrier was selected, what was the transit time, the arrival time, the weight, uh, pricing, and all that sort of stuff is available for our application. Now, once we've done that, we can instruct PasteJet that the quote has been uh, confirmed already, and that makes it disappear from the quote confirms list so that our application can continue processing. So it's very easy then, that's one way to process a quote. Quotes interactively are a little bit different than the rates example, where we might be doing that for an e-commerce website. This type of use, use case is better when a user wants to go on screen, look at the various options, make a choice, and then update the backend system directly.